Hello Collective, welcome back to the Ascender Divinations Priestess channel. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families as always. Okay, I return to source, I return to sender. All negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of white light and pray that you stay only in the highest of vibrational energy. Whatever the enemy has stolen from you, it is returned to you. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled, being dismantled as we speak. As I have said, so shall it be. The judgment is final. Welcome to the platform, new subscribers. Thank you so much for supporting. Please continue to come back and watch. Show support in your own way. It is greatly appreciated. Let's go ahead and get into our tarot reading. We have someone here that's still committed to keeping something or holding on to something. While someone is trapped in a horrendous situation, they put themselves in, going through a lot of loss, a lot of tumor. Someone, someone may be even crying behind the scenes because they're realizing that they trapped themselves in a situation. This could be like a king of pentacles in a reverse and the reason the, this man ended up in this situation is because of greed. Someone has been absolutely committed to keeping some, what does not belong to them or just blocking someone else's forward movement or just holding on to, let's say you have money that was supposed to come in. They're trying to hold on to that. Let's say you have a house that was left to you. Someone's trying to hold on to that. A position, they're trying to hold on to that or stop you from receiving it. Like someone wants you in a situation where you don't have anything coming in. They don't want you prospering. But rest assured, whatever it is this person is doing to you, they're going through it 10 times full. So if someone, someone is like, they've gone from like an eight of pentacles to like the five of pentacles, four of, oh, it's right out here. Listen, I didn't even realize. Someone has gone from the eight of pentacles to the four of pentacles and they are trapped in some type of situation. This could be like a relationship or an institution. They connected with the wrong people and it has led to some type of loss for them. Someone is cry crying a lot um, because there's something where it's like their ego is getting the best of them as well. It's like they know that you know you may be a high priestess. So someone knows that you are aware of what they are going through. Someone is in a lot of distress. They may even want to come towards you and mend things with you because they know that they may be going through some type of ending, some type of uh, decline in finances, some type of downgrade in life because of what they did to a high priestess. Okay, uh, so this is it. Oh my gosh, this is like someone going through karma. Uh, so this is someone getting a taste of their own medicine. So someone's going to be having a hard knock day, a hard knock week, a hard knock uh, month, years. Someone is about to be in some type of karma cycle for quite a long time. And this is because of how committed they have been when it comes to trapping you. Uh, like someone has been out here trying to break another energy. It's that, oh, you're a light worker. You don't want to be with me or you don't want to work with me. I'll show you. Someone is under judgment for coming after a high priestess. And they told people you were dumb, but it appear, appears you're not. Okay. They told people you didn't know nothing. You were incompetent. Here you are being multifaceted, innovative, as can be, having a fresh start. What they're doing now is trying to find some type of way to block your forward movement. They want to block your growth. So if you are in a position and you're supposed to be receiving some type of promotion, someone is going to be leaving their neck of the woods to go to your boss and tell them, hey, they don't deserve that position. Don't give it to them. If you have a platform that is doing very well or is taking up, they're trying to find a way on how to block that platform from from growing so someone is doing quite a lot behind the scenes and this is because something has come back to bite them in the behind but instead of them trying to figure out how to fix things in their life they are still focused on you and this person is under judgment by the spirit realm and they know it while their life is declining you are moving forward you may be even relocating or something like that this person that's uh, out here in this whatever energy this devilish energy they are in with a lot of obsession and also there's something where it's like this person the reason they're coming after you so much is because they're obsessed with you you don't have to be a practitioner you don't have to be someone that has a platform you can just be someone that's doing a nine to five maybe you uh knew this masculine or whoever this is i'm getting a masculine and a group of other people behind the scenes coming after someone um 
they have some type of sickening obsession with you and this is what people don't know with this devil out here followed by the three of swords someone's obsession with you with you is dangerous and i don't know if people realize this um it says someone is going above and beyond to paint you in a character in a light that is not yours it's not fitting it just does not add up and maybe people may be even walking away from this masculine but he is absolutely determined to come towards you and he's moving quick he wants to come towards you. I think he thinks he's able to manipulate you so that whatever karma he's going through can be minimized. He's trying to like level things out, but the, the planes are not going to be level. Someone has to go through karma so that they can go through some type of awakening because this is someone that's very superficial. Someone has a lot of pride and ego. And if when you will have met this person, you probably don't even remember this person for, from what I'm picking up, or you're just, you, you're, you're, you're just not paying this person any mind. Okay. This person will have been very solid in life. Uh, doing very well. Maybe you were a little behind them trying to figure out your life, still working on establishing yourself. But someone would have been holding their, no their nose up to you and acting like they were better than you. But something has happened where the universe has humbled someone it, th because there's something. It's like, it's like someone was comfortable and secure in life. You're working on stabilizing your life, building your foundation. Someone left their comfort, their security to come and mess with you. So someone has invested a lot, and I mean a lot, okay, into trapping you, bonding you, de depleting your finances, uh, eliminating your options and things like that because they know you're someone that's supposed to have like a ten of pentacles um, and they don't want you having that. So someone has been doing quite a lot to temper with your forward movement. This person is going through a tower because people are looking and seeing the truth about what has really been going on. And like I said, people may even be distancing themselves from this masculine because or this could be a feminine because they know now why this person has been coming after you. This man may have some type of mental imbalance. Someone may be imbalanced mentally, spiritually, physically, emotionally. Some, there's something. I don't know how you can be mentally imbalanced physically, but whatever comes out, comes out. But someone is imbalanced all the way around, okay? And they are trying to cause a tower to you receiving some type of communication about some type of offer or a new beginning with an institution, some type of commitment, right? So they are doing a whole lot behind the scenes to make sure this is absolutely a king of pentacles that's out here trying to stop someone's investments and things like that. Like someone wants to trap you so that you cannot move on and cannot invest in yourself. People do not see you as an option. You and possibly a king of wands cannot connect. This person is going through some type of loss because of the path that they took, but they are redirecting themselves, living in their truth and things like that. Maybe even seeing you as wish fulfillment man someone is stepping into their emperor energy in life so whatever it is this king of pentacles is gonna hold on doing which is stealing from you blocking some type of abundance blocking two people from coming together wanting you to be out here breadcrumb someone is going to come in to balance this out for you you may end up connecting with like a wealthy person some type of diplomat that you are not aware of but it's watching you and this is going to be a big yes from the universe which is going to enable you to, to move on you are someone very brave brave, very strong, and your strength has allowed you to acquire this Ace of Pentacles. It may be coming from like a King of Wands or someone else. Um, whoever it is you're going to be connecting with, it is going to be a very successful collaboration, a union. It may be something that starts off in work and then turns into something else. But this is a big yes from the universe for you. They're, they're saying that this is something you deserve. You've absolutely put in a lot of work. There's a, oh yeah, there's a king of, this is a king of pentacles that's going through this. And he, while he's going through his towers and he's stuck in some type of karmic situation, he could be stuck in a karmic marriage, karmic relationship, karmic institution, whatever this is, he's going through an ending, but he's wanting to cause you an ending. And he said, you know what? She cannot receive that communication. So he's doing stuff to block you from receiving messages and things like that. But people are looking a little bit deeper into this situation and realizing this man is a buffoon. Like someone mature in age, but they never mature in maturity. <laughs> I don't know how else to put that. It says someone has kind of, uh, 
neglected themselves they don't realize it like they've let themselves down and because someone is so angry in life about how things are going for them now and they have no one to blame they're taking their anger out on you someone has gathered a whole group of people like someone went out and created a whole cult just to come after you someone may have already been part of a cult with that devil car out here someone has being part of a cult they call themselves family and maybe there are people in that community now that are seeing things from a different perspective and they're not wanting to participate in whatever it is this masculine has going on uh, so he may be having a hard time getting this um, whatever this is his intention his mission accomplished but rest assured this person listen i'm saying rest assured because the universe is handling someone behind the scenes and he's determined to come into your energy like last not last night yesterday i was laying on my bed right and like i have all the clairs so I literally heard someone knocking on the door, but there was no one there physically. So it's like, you're going to receive some type of unexpected visitor. Do not let this person in your home. Keep the door short. If you have some, like a, some type of peep, peep, uh, hole in your door, use that to communicate with them. Do not open your door and let this person into your home because someone is uh, unhinged at this moment. Like someone is dangerous to be around. I would even call the police if someone comes around you because someone is losing a lot of money. I'm telling you, someone went from the eight of pentacles to the four of pentacles. They're in a devilish energy and they're, lo they're losing their emotions. Someone does not have control of themselves. So they're taking some type of impulsive and reckless action to come towards you to cause you an ending to manipulate you all this person does is gaslight and they are worried because where they're going through a lot of loss they know you're going to reject them so this new beginning that they want to have with you is a no-no like someone betrayed you heavily by working with a group of people to take you down may have lied and said that you were not an empress but it turns out you really are and you are someone that's very genuine in the upright and this whole group that he got together are fighting behind the scenes because you are still standing your ground someone may be protecting you that you don't know because they have a higher understanding that these people have been trying to keep you in some type of isolation this could be a king of cups that's been helping you behind the scenes spiritually this could be someone that sees you as wish fulfillment and you may end up having some type of ten of pentacles a uh, 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 relationship with them you two will get the chance the opportunity to, to possibly even like relocate and start your life over i don't get like a malicious energy from this kink of of cups that wants to connect with you because this is someone that wants to have a new beginning with you and knows that you two have a lot of options in the future to be successful you two are very wise knowing right very intuitive these are people that like invest in themselves in their knowledge in people places and things that they know are very beneficial you two could be spiritually gifted and are communicating on in the spirit realm i'm telling you you two are communicating in the spirit realm. Something has been revealed that you two will be moving on in divine timing. And you two moving on is going to cause some type of hope in this operation. This king of pentacles in the reverse has on, has going on. Um, so whatever this man thinks he's about to do, it's not happening. This king of cups that I'm picking up on in the background of you that you may not be aware of is someone who is that going to send their master. This is someone that is in the upright. Someone has put in the work to master themselves. You two could be practitioners and you don't even know it with this magician out here. And uh, so he could have a platform. You could have a platform or he could have a platform. You don't have one. Whatever this is. Or you two could just be naturally gifted, naturally intuitive, natural healers and things like that. Um, but whatever this man is trying to do this king of pentacles in the reverse is being stopped like someone is not allowed in your energy someone wants to come towards you to breadcrumb you they want you to remember that hey remember we used to be friends or uh, i already cherished your friendship like someone didn't cherish your friendship when you give it to them they neglected their friendship turned their back on you when you extended their friendship to them now that you're not there and they're going through some type of ending right uh they're going through a lot of losses it's not just money is relationships okay people are turning their back on this person because they're realizing that he's been playing all of them like a flute uh so now he wants to come towards you and give you some type of offer and he's worried because what he knows he's had he has ulterior motives for you this is not a genuine offer this is someone still determined to defeat a queen of cups 
to prevent things from being balanced out in your life, to prevent your forward movement, your growth in everything, does not want you receiving any type of fulfillment in life, whether this is even love, healing, anything. He said, no, 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 no. I'm the one that is in charge of her destiny. So I'm going, I've decided that she cannot have it. You have to stop. Do not go forward. Do not move forward to her. But there will be someone that's going to have victory with you. They're taking charge of their life, taking some type of action to overcome, to defeat this King of Pentacles reverse and put an end to this chapter. So um, this King of Pentacles, whatever it is he's about to do, is going to make things even worse for him. And like I said, if there's someone that you know or you're just uncertain about that shows up at your home or just shows up somewhere that they shouldn't be, call 911. Someone is dangerous. You have another uh, empress that has been stalking you. This could be like a wife of his or a mother of his that's been stalking you. It's like a whole family got together possibly to come after you or a group of friends got Got together to come after you based on a lie and this is because they don't want things being balanced out so this man knows that things are going to be balanced out things are being balanced out for you by the by the spirit realm, by your ancestors. This is why he's taking some type of action to move things in his favor. He thinks if he comes towards you, towards you and sweet talk you, gives you some type of friendship, whatever this is, blah, 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 that you're going to accept something from him. You're going to want to work with him. He may want to come and give you some type of breadcrumbing offer. Let's say someone used to be worth $300,000 and now they're worth $50,000. He don't took $5,000 out of there and he's going to come give it to you and say like, hey, I just wanted to, you know, stabilize this between us i'm so you know sorry for how things happen between us because he sees this as judge uh, as justice but this is a manipulative tactic be also cautious yeah i'm telling you this is a manipulative tactic for this man to cause some type of tower in your life because he knows you're supposed to be receiving some type of good news right you are supposed to be receiving some type of communication that has to do with finances or some type of work opportunity some type of like it's going to bring clarity there's something there's some type of communication someone is supposed to receive in the collective that's going to bring clarity to you about what was happening behind the scenes why people were coming after you why someone has been doing something who the main corporate has been when it comes to uh, attacking you repeatedly and things like that and this is what they've been hiding so when this truth comes out you're going to have a higher understanding of what people have been planning for you okay this man does not want this truth coming out because if it comes out before he gets to you, it's over for him. And this is why he's worried. He's worried about things being balanced out because if you receive some type of offer from someone else, a wealthy man is game over from, for him. He's defeated. But that's exactly what's going to happen because you are going to receive that communication. Like this, this kind of energy I'm getting, this is like really dreadful. This is that one of those people, like, like I said, they age in number, but they just haven't matured uh at all okay they just haven't matured they're refusing to mature someone may end up out here losing a home like someone is someone may even have like legalities going on behind the scenes i don't know if they're going through a divorce or they have some type of court court case going on but someone is taking some type of impulsive action to travel towards you okay and they think they can come in and sweet talk you and it's going to be victorious for them this is someone who can be a bit of a narcissist this could even be someone that thinks that they're better than you or they thought they were better than you until they effed around and found out that they are not better than you right and you see this person a mile away you have foresight of this situation so this is why you're going to have your sword pulled out when this person comes towards you because they know that you are someone who is in the upright you're out here showing up as a higher fan and an empress energy with the seven of wands meaning your character is in the upright you are someone genuine the fact that the truth has come out about who you are and that you are someone genuine in the upright healer nurturing and all of that it is causing some type of conflict amongst these people because it's that some people want to keep going with something but then there are other people in the group that say, hey, this whole thing has been a lie. He told us she was this way or she told us this person was this way, but it's turning out that it was a lie. Why do y'all want to keep going on attacking someone based on a lie? And then you have the other members of the group or the community that just don't care about themselves, about them, their lives. They don't care about their repercussions. They don't care about karma. People oftentimes don't care about karma until karma hits. That's when they start caring. But there's some type of conflict going on behind the scenes about a love offer that's going to lead 
lead to a new beginning with a king of wands okay this king of wands may have let you out in the cold before but he's leaving an institution or a community a home a family whatever to come towards you to balance things out with you may want to be married to you so that you two can start all over um you two may be very creative um, so your creativity is going to lead to abundance. Um, this is someone that's confident within himself. I'm telling you, someone is stepping into that emperor energy. But there is something where you should be aware of. You may have a few masculines that are interested in you. And you are going to have to think really hard. Like really hard about the decisions that you make. Because if you make a wrong turn, it will lead to you starting some type of karmic cycle with someone that's going to lead to an ending for you, but your ancestors are protecting you from something. So, uh, maybe ask them to not allow anyone in your energy that does not have good intentions for you so that only the right person, your higher level soulmate can come into your energy so that this chapter can be completely done. Your higher level soulmate is not someone you've ever met before. A lot of these people you've probably met. So if they come towards you, you'll know who exactly it is. A lot of them are out here living as bachelors even though some of them are married sn still sneaking around and things like that the only reason some of these men are coming towards you is to possibly just play with your emotions maybe even wind you dine you drop you just to leave you way down it could even be that some of them want to get you pregnant so that you don't have an option a love offer from someone else that's actually legit disciplined and assertive and actually caring so there's a lot of people behind the scenes this is a whole group of friends and family that are burdened about you receiving some type of offer from someone genuine and it will happen i don't know why all these all these people are so much so focused on a queen of cups you may not even know most of these people not be paying them any attention i'm telling you right committed commitment right someone is stepping into their emperor energy um there's an emperor behind the scenes like there are a few of them and unfortunately unfortunately uh they're really just showing up as emperor either because of their age because uh they're like a father or something like that um but there's an emperor behind the scenes that's absolutely determined to defeat you this could be this king of pentacles yeah i said king of pentacles and that's who's on the on the bottom this could be this king of pentacles uh reverse that's that sees himself as an emperor maybe wanting to come in to defeat you you have other uh emperors that are behind the scenes that do want to defeat you because there's some type of money that's on the line and also what they're seeing is that we've invested all this time and energy into destroying this mother sucker I ain't giving up right now, but it's like, this is not something where it's a choice. It's like something needs to be let go and these people need to start self-actualizing and move on with their lives. But someone wants to keep dragging something out and this is because they are a heavy narcissist. Like someone has lost a lot of money and they're blaming you for what it is they've lost. Mind you, you didn't do anything to this person. The actions they took against you were self-initiated. They were the ones that came up with the idea to come after you and destroy you, try to get you fired from work, try to block your income, your resources, deplete your resources, block friendships and relationships, interfere with every aspect of your life so that when the time came for them to come into your energy to defeat you, there will be no one available to assist you, no one to turn to. But it didn't play out that way. So because things didn't go his way or their way, now they feel even more angry and obsessed with you. This is a whole cult now that's obsessed with a light worker. And they don't realize every time they take action to come in and do you something, it's only making things worse for them. So this man is trapped in some type of horrendous situations. His finances has been depleted. Someone that used to live very comfortable in life, nothing to worry about. Now he's having to what manage his his uh, finances, making sure to not overspend, you know, budgeting really tightly and things like that. This is the energy he had you in. So like the roles, the roles um, have flipped. He's the one going through this now. And while he's going through this, the universe is elevating you. Um, and I think when you were in this period, a lot of you may have probably even been getting frustrated and things like that. And your ancestors or the universe were telling you just keep going and things like that. And this is why they wanted you to keep going so that you could see exactly what it is that's about to take place with your enemies. And they're going to see you elevate as well. 
your enemies are being given a front row seat to see you elevate in life. So they're going to watch you thrive. They're going to watch you overcome all of the obstacles they put in your way to defeat you. Some of these people, the things that they put you through, they wouldn't even survive. That's the, that's the crazy part. The things they put you through, the things they tried to put you through, the things they were hoping to happen to you, they wouldn't survive like five minutes of it. These are people who, you know, they think themselves, they think and feel themselves to be better than other people. But if you were to put them through half of the things they do to other people, they wouldn't survive five minutes. And they never think to do that. There's a woman in here that's about to go through exactly what it is that she tried to put someone else through. It's that she said, oh, they got to work for this. Uh, I don't think they're qualified for this. They don't deserve this. So they, they went out of their way to make life extremely difficult for you. And they are about to go th through the exact thing that they put you through so that they can see and know what it feels like. And hopefully she'll come out a uh, 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 blameless, flawless like you did because a lot of you went through situations where it's like, oh, I don't feel like being practical today. I don't want to see this from a different perspective. I don't feel like being a healer today. I don't feel healed today. I don't feel loving today. I don't feel abundant today. But the universe kept telling you, hey, stay practical, keep your head level and keep moving forward. We already showed you. We already told you where it is you're going to end up, right? So now she's going to have to do the same thing. Be strong. Stay strong throughout this long period that's coming. It could be seven or ten years of karma someone is about to go through. When they come out of it, hopefully they're flawless. Hopefully they're pure-hearted like you are. I highly doubt it. Someone is about to become even worse than what they were before when this situation started because someone is a full-blown narcissist. When things don't go their way, this is them. Way down, burdened with anxiety, crying. I'm telling you, way down, burdened with anxiety. There are people out here crying, obsessed, angry because where two people are going to meet, and when they meet, it's going to put an end to some type of old chapter, and they will be successful, possibly in the public eye together. Two people with a lot of confidence, a lot of inner knowing, and things like that, um, supported by the universe. So, whatever union is about to come together, I'm telling you, whatever union is about to come together is going to cause people a lot of distress behind the scenes, and I don't know why they are this invested in two people coming together, but um, this. This may be the time for them to take a different path, different direction, and move on with their lives. But you, do you think they're going to? No. These are two higher level soulmates. There's a man, there's a Sagittarius that's plotting someone's ending. Like someone is doing, is trying to cause someone some type of ending that they're not able to recover from. And every time he shows up in my reading, he wants me to shush because he don't want people to know what it is he's doing. But this is a Sagittarius that's about to take some type of action to block someone's forward movement. This could be a Sagittarius or it could be someone else. But this is what I see. He's coming in to put an end to some type of, I don't know what this is that's going on. Okay, I don't know what this is that's going on. You could have a uh, Sagittarius that's in the upright, or you could have, and you could have one that's in the reverse. But there's one taking some type of action. I don't know if he's coming towards you to end you. Um, but this is someone that's really, really, really reckless. Someone that you should not be trusting. There is some type of ulterior motive for why this person is coming towards you, and they are afraid that you are going to see right through them, which you will. Just thread with caution, okay? There's a lot of toxicity going on. It's that people having all kinds of uh, in interactions and stuff, laying with each other, whatever this is. I don't know, okay? The, um, there's a queen of wands behind the scenes that's fighting a lot with everybody. It's like she wants to keep something going. Someone is trying to prove that she's a high priestess. She's talented. It's all an illusion. Someone is just a narcissist wishing to have a ten of pentacles that does not belong to her. So she's been doing a lot to cause stalemates and things like that in the life of a king of cups so that he does not see the truth and can take some type of motive to sneak someone that he has no business sneaking. Is that someone trying to get you to sneak your higher level soulmate or your twin flame or something like that? He's not gonna. Someone sees things from a higher perspective, okay? Uh, and they will be abundant together. They will be success. I'm telling you, they will be successful together. Have a happy, oh, Leah, wish fulfillment. Ultimate fulfillment. This is what's about to happen. These two are about to create their own, they're about to manifest their own soul tribe, like together, very successful, very happy, well accomplished, in the upright, both investors, both thinkers, 
uh, have higher knowledge. They have some type of sacred knowledge. Other people don't. Man, 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 man. These two. These two are going through some type of rebirth. Baby, can't nobody block this? The spirit realm is all over this union, this connection. So I don't know what to tell these people. But, I mean, honey, the truth is out. The truth is out. Everything that has been going on, the truth is out. The betrayals, the lie, the manipulation, the cunningness, the sneak, the stealing, being sneak, everything is coming out. The answers are unfolding, is what I heard. Everything is coming out. People cannot hide what it is they're doing anymore. Anyways, thank you for watching. Stay blessed. I'll see you in the next week. Goodbye for now.